Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ESP.NET Core and today I'm going to show you the next video tutorial of uh, uh, Android app or uh, you can say the food delivery app in uh, Xamarin Forms. So in this video I'm going to show you the second uh, some controller information like the account controller. So, so first of all discuss about the accounts controller. So here we have accounts controller and you know that API in each ev uh, every API controller inherited with the control base class and uh, uh, data annotation in the API controller we have API controller and the route is the API and the controller and the action okay so you know that very familiar with the route parameters so in the account controllers the first action parameter is is this uh, the register control okay so register action method that is the HTTP post action method and anyone uh, uh, access that method so there is a no restriction uh, for the user so here we have a private read only application db context you know that that is used to, to access the data from the database table and the privately i configuration class is also mentioned that here and authentication service i mean to say that auth service plugin is used at here in the uh, constructor we initialize application db context and i configuration and after configuration initialization you can initialize auth service with the configuration you can see that auth is equals to new auth service and in, in which you can assign the configuration now after that you can see that okay so in the register action method we have a user as a post parameter and you know that user class that is id name passwords role etc so first of all check already email exist by using context class so context.users.single or default just get the single uh, user by their email so there is the syntax at here context.users.single or default x.email equals to user.email and the next one is if email already exists is not equals to null i mean to say that if it is email is exist then return bad request and user email already exists okay now if uh, your email is not uh, actually exist i mean to say that a new user data so first of all create a where user object with the new user name email password and the roles like user.name user.email and the secure password hash uh, hasher helper and that uh, class is actually exist in the auth service class okay now uh, now after that you can see that secure uh, hash algorithm is there a user dot passwords and the role is equals to user okay so the um, that is the bundle for the user object now after that initialize that uh, users into the database table by user uh, by using context dot users dot add user object and use await keyword context dot save changes and return status code that is 201 so now you registration uh, is completed now after that you can see that the login action method actually login actions method is written a access token so use jwt uh, uh, jwt uh, uh, claims okay so in the login first of all check the email by using the same method context dot users dot first of all default x tends to email is double equals to user dot email if email is double equals to null then return status code that is 404 not found if it is not exist then where password equals to email dot passwords because uh, you know that it's not a email it's a user actually so uh, user from email you can say so email dot passwords get in the passwords so secure password hasher helper dot verify by using the verify method you can just verify both passwords that is entered by the user and already stored in the database table both are matched if it is not matched because that is the not symbol it here then return unauthorizations otherwise you can say that return the claims like that claims equals to new and here we have a uh, uh, some claims in the jwt registered claims names jwt registered claim names uh both all these are the register claim names and two are the claim types the claim types is name and the role and the claim names is uh, user email jti and email 
and after that you can say that generate the tokens by using the auth service say like the uh, underscore auth dot generate access tokens claims in which you can pass the claims that is there and the generate a new token by using the result object so here we have a some uh, data to return by the result object that is access token token type user id username expiries creation time and creation uh, creation time and expiration times so these are the uh, things to uh, add in the login section so that is thing so the account controller is clear and now the next one is the categories controller in the categories controller you can see that uh, the same thing that is the route api and the controller there is a no action between the um, route and api th this is also a api controller and authorized attribute is also mentioned because uh, when a user logged into the system and uh, see this uh, categories then you can uh, get all these categories and uh, according to the according to their roles also mentioned at here so first of all discuss about application db contact that is mentioned and uh, in the constructor categories controller you just add it and first of all get uh, categories by using the get method so here we have a categories from a in context dot categories and just get all these categories and their respective id title and the image uri return okay i mean to say that uh, a list of categories you can say that uh, iqueryable data of a categories okay so this is the thing the next one is the authorized attribute and the roles is admin so um, every user uh, logged in to, into the system but uh, only admin can change and uh, get their roles you can see that id get uh, from c in context dot categories where c dot id only one particular id is getting from only admin so here we have and id is equals to i uh, dot id title image uri first of all uh, first or default return okay okay the similarly we have a uh, roles admin http post i mean to say that uh, post into post categories into the system by using this post method and here we have a from body and category uh, controller name so first of all uh, just i want to add image into the uh, category so you can add stream method so here we have a memory stream category dot image array image array you can say that uh, a type of images uh, in the array form format so guid new guid and file name that is the guid.jpg folder is a ww root folder and uh, response that is files uh, files helper dot upload image and that is the file helper is actually uh, exist in the image uploader uh, package uh, in the package and the upload image that is the stream and the folder there is the ww root and the file there is the file name okay and if it is response is uh, true uh, that is the false then return bad request otherwise that image will be saved into the database table as well as the folder so category dot image uri equals to file and context dot categories dot add category context dot save changes there is the method name the similarly we have a put request put i mean to say that uh, edit uh, category Added category I mean to say that uh, if you want to change the image of the category so just you can first of all get the images uh, first of all get the categories by using their ID property so ID uh, title is in uh, entities there entities double equals to null so return bad request or you can say that uh, not found request otherwise uh, similarly uh, stream GUID file folder response that is the all things are clear that is uh, exist in the post method and if you want to change the image then you can change the title also and image uri that is the file and suppose you not want to change the image then uh, here we have a uh, category category dot uh, there is the same thing we can uh, clear guid dot new guid and uh, category dot image array that is clear and if it is file is null then uh, require return to bad request okay and here we have for the delete action method that is the delete category context dot categories dot find id and just i i want to uh, delete the uh, category by using their id property 
so context dot categories dot remove category so this is the category uh, controller okay so the next one is the product controller and in the product controller we know that the same thing we can do in the product controller with the categories so here we have some methods in the uh, product controller so here we have a product by uh, category id and the popular products and the post product and the put product so here we have some methods like delete product okay so these are the action methods in the product controller one by one i will uh, clear it and uh, i will uh, show all these uh, api products controller methods so later on i will discuss it and uh, uh, please don't forget please subscribe my channel and uh, like this video and share this video i will share this uh, whole project uh, on github uh, soon thank you very much for watching this